Welcome back to the Mank Entrepreneur YouTube channel and in today's episode I'm asking the question why do people buy? Now you may know that when you are shopping online or if you're, if you're a seller who sells online one of the questions which you probably ask quite a lot or that anyone within the sort of retail space seems to ask is what are people buying? And whilst that is a good question and if you can have the product that people are interested in buying in stock that obviously helps however it's not the key question the key question is why are people buying and why do people buy from certain places here in the UK obviously we, we have the likes of Comet who have gone out of business most recently we've had British Home Stores which are a large department store which have been around for many, many years and they've failed to adapt to the online world. And this leads to the question of why are some bricks and mortar stores thriving and others are failing miserably? And that ultimately boils down to the fact of why do people buy? Why do some stores go out of business while others continue to succeed? And ultimately the key to this, from my opinion, boils down to the customer experience. Now, if you take a look at the likes of, uh, again, British Home Stores being an example, they're very similar in what they offer to the likes of Debenhams. Now, Debenhams are, uh, again, still, uh, still a, a bricks and mortar store, mainly. They do have an e-commerce website, which you know I have bought from in the past. And Debenhams, whilst not totally immune from the risks of uh, going bankrupt or, or going into administration they've certainly done better than British home stores have but that still I wouldn't say Debenhams are thriving instead look at the likes of Selfridges or Harvey Nichols here in the UK again big department stores and traditionally are aimed at more higher end uh, product lines and brands and if anything, you would think that these would be much harder for, you know, would be a much harder sell than the, you know, the lower down, lower, lower price ticket items. So that sort of gets rid of some of the what, because you can buy high end items online, but still people go to the stores. They still go to Selfridges. If you go to a Selfridges in the Trafford Centre or here in Manchester, they're always busy, always busy. And some of the stuff in there costs a small fortune, but people still go in there. And this comes back to the point that it isn't, the question isn't so much about what you buy, it's why do people buy? Why do buyers buy? And it boils down to the experience, the buying experience, the customer experience. And if you can translate that into the online world, that is where you're going to see success. Now, when it comes to eBay and Amazon, you have limited control over what you can do there. Amazon are already doing their best with the buying experience. Amazon is all about the buyers and the buyer customer service and the buyer experience. And Amazon is largely doing that part for you. But if you have your own website, that is surely, or should surely, be a priority for you. And if it isn't, then you're leaving yourself wide open to uh, a lot of potential losses and a lot of potential risk by just relying solely on the marketplaces. However, look at the experience that you can create for your customers online. Your website is, is as much like your as much like a bricks and mortar store uh, as it could be. It's all about the experience and it's all about the impression that a customer gets it needs to be it's a real living breathing thing which needs to be kept up to date it needs to be nurtured and it needs to feel fresh and relevant to a customer when they first land on the web you have maybe three seconds to win a customer over before they'll just click that back button and it's pretty much the same as in a, in a bricks and mortar store you your window display is your home page and if you can drag people in and entice them to come and stay then that is where the majority of your value is going to be. So that's my sort of quick little video for you today, is, is not to focus on what people are buying, it's to focus on why people are buying, and how can you appeal to that why, 
and that is how you're going to win and that's how you can start doing what your competitors are not doing and start winning some of that business if you've enjoyed this video hit that like button subscribe if you are new there's new content every single weekday and let me know down below what you think think about some stores which you have uh, you know you're a fan of that you enjoy going to and, and then think about the experience that you have whilst you're in there let me know in the comments what you're thinking of Selfridges is a huge one for me and uh, yeah I'm interested to see any comments that you have uh, about that because I do find it interesting focus on the why not the what with that said I'll see you in the next video thank you for watching